The subtitle in my Bible for Jeremiah 5 is The Justice of God's Judgments. And let me say this right from the get-go. God does not have to defend his judgments. God is sovereign. He's wise and he's holy. And his judgments are always just. In verse 3, the prophet says, Lord, you are searching for honesty. You struck your people, but they paid no attention. You crushed them, but they refused to be corrected. They are determined with faces set like stone. They have refused to repent. Jeremiah has been called the weeping prophet because his heart was continually broken by God's people, rejecting his message to repent and turn back to God. Here, Jeremiah describes the condition of God's chosen people as determined, stone-faced, and unrepentant. See, by refusing God's call for repentance through his prophet repeatedly, their hearts have hardened, and the reflection of that hardening is seen in their faces. What happened on the inside is now manifested in a physical way on the outside. And I have to be honest, I've seen that happen in my own life. As I went through a dry spiritual season, when I felt so alone and had isolated myself from godly friends, I was trying to accomplish in the flesh what was started in the spirit. And I found that my body responded with lethargy, depression, and even physical symptoms that had no medical explanation. Legend says that when Sir Walter Raleigh, the English statesman, soldier, writer, and explorer, was led to the execution block to be beheaded, he was asked by the executioner if he wanted his head to lay to the right or to the left. Raleigh answered, It matters little, my friend, how the head lies, provided the heart is right. The question for us today, in fact every day, should be, are our hearts right before God? It was a relevant question in Jeremiah's day, and it's a relevant question in our day. Psalm 51:17 reminds us, the sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and contrite heart. Let's ask God today to make us men and women after his own heart.